Hello YouTubers! Chobits is one of my all-time favorite childhood animes, and today I'm going to show you a very fast and easy way to make her Persicone ears without having to spend a lot of money. I spent no more than $5 to make these ears. Want to know how? Stay tuned! Start with a piece of white foam paper and a blade. You can buy foam paper at your local craft store for about 50 cents to a dollar. You can even buy it at Walmart. Alright, so fold your foam paper in half with the folded edge to your left. Now cut out a triangle starting from the upper left hand corner at about a 45 degree angle with your blade. If you don't have a blade, scissors work just fine. Now you want your ears to be about two and a half to three inches long. From one end, you're going to cut the final edge of the triangle off. Take your time. If you guys noticed on Chi's ears, there's a slight subtle curve where the white and pink part meets. So to form this curve, you're going to cut off a slight small curve near the left hand corner. Make sure it is a slight curve. You don't want to cut off too much. When you're done, your foam paper should look something like this. Now cut two circles about the size of a quarter on your white foam paper. I am freehanding the circles, but if you want your circles to be more exact, you can use a round object or a coin to outline the circles before you start cutting. The circle should fit evenly spaced on the bottom center of your ears. Moving on to the pink part, cut off a rectangular piece of pink foam paper. Don't worry about the size. You're going to fold the paper in half with the folded part on the bottom of the ears. As you can see, the bottom pink portion is too large, so I'm going to cut it into a smaller piece. Now when I place the two pieces back together, it looks much better. Don't worry about the tip, we will cut this off later. To hold everything together, I'm going to use a hot glue gun. Put some glue on the outer edge of the white foam paper and stick the pink foam paper inside with the folded part sticking out on the bottom. Make sure that the pink part is covering the entire bottom. Put some glue to the very end and close the tip of the ear down. To ensure that the sides are stuck on very well, I'm going to put some glue at the edges so that it hugs onto the pink part tightly. And for the final part, just add some glue to each side near the bottom left and stick on the foam circles you cut out earlier. Don't forget to do the same thing on the back. Cut off the excess pink foam to form a straight line and when you're done, you'll finally be able to make out one of your ears. This is what one of your ears should look like when you are all done. Be sure to make two of these. Using any hairband that you don't care for, you're going to glue the ears to the bottom of your hairband. I suggest you try this on in the mirror so you know where to place your ears. Once your ears are hollow, it will be hard to glue them onto the headband, so to help you out, you're going to glue a piece of white foam paper on the inside of the ear. When you're done, just add some glue to the headband and stick your ears on. And of course, when you're done, make sure you stick the ear on the other side so that you've completed your headband. On Chi's hair, she has two pink spools as hair accessories. To recreate this, you will need a long piece of white foam paper about one inch in diameter. Cut off some white pieces of foam paper to form the rims and glue them on with a hot glue gun. 
don't worry about it being uneven because when you're done, you'll just cut off the edges with some scissors to even everything out. As you can imagine, when you roll this pink foam into a spool, it looks like the one in Chi's hair. Now for the fun part. As you guys can see, I don't have blonde hair, so I'm going to use a wig. Wigs are really cheap now since it's after Halloween, so have at it you guys. If you're a natural blonde, you can skip this step. So once you're done putting on your wig, be sure to try on your ears. They should sit about where your natural ears are at and should look something like this. Separate some pieces of hair on each side of your head to form the small poof of hair that surrounds Chi's face. I'm going to put a small rubber band about 7 inches down from the crown of your head. To make the poof, just take a small piece of hair and tug down on it while you move the rubber band up. And there you go, you just formed your poof. I'll just do the same thing on the other side and it should look something like this. To add the hair accessory, just roll the pink foam around the rubber band. If you plan on reusing your wig for other costumes, you can just tape the spool together. Or if you designated this as your chi wig, you can hot glue them in. If it's your natural hair, of course, you should definitely stick with the tape. Once you put the spool in on both sides, your chi look is pretty much done. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It was a lot of fun for me to create this look. And if you like more videos like these, please be sure to let me know below. don't have a wig or blonde hair, having chi ears is always fun. Maybe I'll just be an Asian chi with my natural hair color. For more videos, please subscribe and I would love to see your creations on Instagram. Share them with me on hashtag FlyingMio. Good luck everyone! Bye!